all about food. I have like baby alive food, as you can tell from the title. I have little Liam here just because I felt like I should have a little baby and I decided to just bring in Liam because you guys haven't seen him in a little while. So Liam's gonna be here with me for the intro, but he might not be with me for the rest of the video, but I just thought it'd be more interesting to see him and me rather than just me. Anyways, so this video is all about how to make the right and wrong ways um, of making baby life food using lotion. A lot of people have been having a problem where the when they make food with um, lotion um, for their babies, it's like, it doesn't like mix in well, it just like gets in little chunks. And I know how to fix that. So I'm gonna share with you guys how to do that so you'll know how to make good baby life food with lotion. And um, yeah, so let's get started. Okay guys, so first I'm gonna be showing you the wrong way to make food. I'm gonna use this bowl for the right way and this bowl for the wrong way. So the way people make a lot of baby life food is like, they're like, you can add the water or the lotion first. I'm just gonna add the water first. So I'm gonna fill up the fill line. I just have this bottle instead of having to go to the sink because I'm doing it on the floor because Joseph is using our giant tripod right now. Because he's FaceTiming one of his friends and he wants to like, have them raised so he doesn't have to like hold them or anything. So, some people will like not put in an, enough lotion. Some people think it's just, oh, my brand of lotion doesn't work. This is not a lotion. This is a hand sanitizer bottle that I filled with lotion, um, which is a good tip. And um, so some people might think, oh, it's just my brand of lotion, but the brand may be a small factor, but that's really not the big deal here. So let me just show you what a lot of people do. They'll just add like, little bit like that and then we'll try and like mix it in and see all those little chunks they'll just be floaties all around I'll just be all chunky like that and floaty so this is what a lot of people do you can add coloring to this with food coloring or like the like, um, marker and paper towel method I'm not gonna do that just for right now but yeah so this is what a lot of people do probably saw and I instant replayed it. Um, I spilled this. I'm gonna have to clean up this mess now. So that was the wrong way to do it. Now let's show you the right way to do it. I can't get this camera set up very good. Here we go. Okay. So you take your bowl and spoon and again you just add the water. This is more easy like when you do it from a sink but I'm not doing that because I don't feel like it. So what you wanna do is add a lot of lotion. That is people's main problem, they don't add enough lotion. And it's really, like it could be some lotions don't work, but you wanna add a lot. Like see that? That's a lot of lotion. And then when you mix it together, see it's not really that floaty. It actually starts to work like food. The more you mix it, the better it'll mix. And there's no little floaties. That's because you need to add a lot of lotion. That is people's main problem. They don't, like, if your food looks like this when you try to make it, that's because you're not adding enough lotion. So if you want your food to like turn out like this really good, you can add even more lotion to make it thicker or more water to make it more soupy. But if you want your food to like actually like work when you make lotion food, add more lotion. That is the problem. So. Yeah. The good thing about lotion food that you can't do with um, flour food is that you can store it in a container and it will not rot because it's lotion doesn't rot when it's mixed with water, but flour does. So, yeah. So look at this, no floaties, no floaties. This is good and this is bad. If you like this way, like if you like it to look like that, I mean, it looks not that good, but I mean, it's not like a bad thing, but I just think this is a much better food because like, it's like a good consistency. Well, it needs more, but, like it doesn't, it's like consistent all the way through like the texture. This is like floaties everywhere. And then like the lotion gets stuck to the spoon and the babies are just having like the broth if it's like soup. I'm like, that's the chicken, this is the soup. And all you're getting is the chick, the soup part. With this, you get the whole deal. The whole deal. See this, the whole, the whole. You don't want 
this. No, you don't. You don't want this. No, you don't. I also just want to say the lotion method is my favorite way for making milk. So you don't want your milk to look like this. You want this. This is this actually looks like milk. This looks like orange juice with a lot of pulp. You don't want that. Unless you're trying to go for pulpy orange juice, make it orange, and there you go. You got pulpy orange juice, but that is not what you're going for. Because if you're going for milk, this is what you want. Not this. Just trying to Get that point across. Add more lotion. Add more lotion. All right, guys. So Liam is back with me for the end of the video. So hopefully this helped you guys make some more, um, make your lotion food better. Remember to add more lotion because if it isn't turning out right, always add more lotion. Because, like, if you think it's, if you add too much lotion, like, which how could you? But if you do then just add water and it'll work out okay. So, there's no, you can never have too much lotion, but you can always have too much water because then it turns out like pulpy orange juice. Anyways guys, thanks for watching. Hopefully this helped you guys make Baby Alive lotion food. Please click like and subscribe and we'll see you in, um, in the comments. Let us know um, if this helped you. We'll see you guys later. Bye!